Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 989. Hey, if you want to download the sortbook 989 to 993, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have a bunch of numbers, and we need to conditionally format every number that is above the 90 percentile mark. Now, I have two amazing videos and statistics on number 27 video that talks all about percentile. Uh, and the different ways you can calculate percentile and percentile rank. But we're in this video, we're just going to flat out use the percentile rank function. Now, Excel 2010 and later, there's a dot convention for your statistical functions. 2007 and earlier, they don't have this dot uh, convention. So I'm going to use percentile. Now you can see there's percentile.exc and percentile.inc. Inclusive, inc means 0 and 1 are included. Exclusive mean they're not. Now we're going to use, I'm going to use percentile rank dot INC. That means 0 and 1 are included. So cool. Percentile rank is awesome. You just select a number, sorry, all the number, and I'm going to hit the F4 key, comma, and then the particular number you want to get the percentile rank for. All right? Comma, significance, that's if you want to specify a specific number of digits. I'm going to assume the default, Control Enter, three decimal places. That 0.084 is 8.4%. That number, 21, it means 8.4% of the other values in the set are below 21, and 91.6 are above. All right, so I'm going to copy this through the same size range, because remember, our goal is to uh, conditionally format. So now I have all of the percentile ranks. What do I need? I need a true or false. Is it above the 90? This one's true. Is it above 90? False. So I simply come here. Actually, I'm going to highlight all of them and do our little trick in the active cell. I put F2 to put it in edit mode. I'm going to say, are you greater than 0.9? Now to populate this edited formula throughout the whole range, I hold Control and Enter. Notice that gives me a bunch of trues and falses. And that's exactly what we need for conditional formatting. Every cell that gets a true is going to get the formatting. Every cell that gets the false, not going to get it. Now, this series of formulas has nothing to do with what we're going to do over here. That's just so we can see how it works. This is a logical formula that delivers a true or false. So I'm going to come to the active cell. And in edit mode, I am going to copy it, Control C. Escape, and now I highlight the same range with the same parallel active cell highlighted. And now I go to Home, Conditional Formatting, Man, New Rule, or the keyboard shortcut Alt O D. Right, and once I get to this dialog box, I click New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Down here, I'm going to Control V. No problem. If you're a pro at conditional formatting, just open this up and build your formula there. Now I'm going to do whatever format you want. I'm just going to say yellow. Click OK, click OK, three OKs, and boom, there we go. If any of the values change, of course, the conditional formatting will change. I'm going to Control Z. All right, we'll see you next trick.